Today, four Republican candidates are hoping to get your vote in their quest to face Governor Tony Evers in November. Our Elaine Rojas Castillo joins us live now from Heartland in Waukesha County with a look at the race to replace Evers. Elaine, good morning. Good morning, Susan and Tom. That's right. We're here in Chenico where one of the candidates running for that ticket that you're talking about, the Republican candidate for governor, businessman Tim Michaels, is expected to place his vote right here. While we're here in Heartland, our photojournalist, I want you to take a look at where he is. He's in Sullivan, where candidate for governor, former Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish, is expected to place her vote this morning as well. Now, when it comes to this race, those are just two of the candidates that are running for the Republican primary. We've got a couple more that we want you to remember. We've got State Rep Tip Rantham, and we've also got Adam Fisher. Those four candidates are all running for today's Republican primary for governor, and they're hoping to get your votes to potentially face current incumbent Governor Tony Evers in the general election coming up in November. We've been told that all four of these candidates are expected to vote in person today. And it's important to note that during the last primary election that happened back in 2018, close to 1 million people cast their votes for governor. So it'll be interesting to see how those all votes, those votes all turn out coming up later today. But coming up throughout the morning, I'll have more races for you. So keep it right here. Reporting live in Heartland, Elaine Rojas Castillo, TMJ4 News.